video gaming is one of the largest and most popular forms of entertainment in modern society. The video games market is currently valued at 80 billion dollars. In 2017 it is expected to increase to in between 82 and 90 billion dollars. This will be larger than in figures for music and movies combined. With over 22 million games consoles in Britain, video gaming appeals to a much larger audience than a stereotypical niche demographic that was first thought. Transgressions have been a main feature of video games for many years. Famous arcade games have been based on violence, such as Tekken, which was released in 1994, and Mortal Kombat, which was released in 1992. These two games are solely based on fighting and violence, with a one-on-one -on -one battle until one player has been killed. Other famous arcade games which are aimed at a younger audience like Super Mario Bros released in 1985 and Donkey Kong released in 1981. Although both games are aimed at an audience of 3 years and older, it could be said that these have transgressive themes like violence and kidnapping. Peggy ratings were introduced in 2003. They were brought in to help regulate the sale of games with a minimum age required to buy some games depending on the content. PEGI ratings replaced many national age rating systems with a single European system. The PEGI age rating categories are 3, 7, 12, 16 and 18. Games are given a rating depending on whether the content within the game is suitable for younger players. PEGI used content descriptors to help with the age certificate given. For example, violence and bad language content descriptors may be evident on a game with a PEGI rating of 12. However, more severe and graphic bad language and violence will increase the PEGI rating to 16 or 18. Nowadays, video games are usually played on a console at home. One of the most popular video games today is Call of Duty, with the most recent installment, Black Ops 3, taking over $650 million worth of sales in its first five days. Call of Duty is a game also centred around transgressive behaviour, as the objective of the game is to kill your enemy in a warlike battle simulation. Although Call of Duty has a PEGI rating of 18, this does not stop children younger than this playing the game with parents often buying the game for their children, regardless of the 18 certificate. This is a common theme with most video games, as although there is a PEGI rating, young children are exposed to the transgressive behaviour in video games. Grand Theft Auto is one of the most popular video game franchises in recent history. The first Grand Theft Auto was released in 1997 and it has continued through to the most recent installment, Grand Theft Auto V, which was released in September 2013. Grand Theft Auto V broke the records for sales and revenue in 2013, and in 2014 became the best-selling game of all time in Britain. However, although Grand Theft Auto V is such a popular game played by players of all ages, the game itself is as controversial as it is record-breaking. The Grand Theft Auto series is famed for the transgressive behaviour which is significant to the gameplay and storyline of all Grand Theft Auto titles. Grand Theft Auto V is no different, as in the game players can steal cars, rob banks and murder people. One of the most controversial aspects of Grand Theft Auto V is this torture mission. Yeah. It's a torture! <laughs> My mouth! I, I was drowned! blood in my mouth! I was wrong! Oh, no. <laughs> so this is pretty nasty. Look at me, I am a genuine government man. Help me pick this up. Due to the graphic nature of this mission, it has been widely criticised. Members of a charity group called Freedom for Torture said that the game crossed the line by forcing the players into the role of the torturer. Also, the Association of Teachers and Lecturers commented saying parents should be aware of the realistic graphics and violence their children are being exposed to. Violence isn't the only transgressive behaviour found in popular video games. Racing games like Need for Speed is also another game centred around transgressive behaviour. Although not violence like Grand Theft Auto, but illegal street racing and being chased by the police. This creating a moral panic as concerns grew that players may try to recreate what they have played in the game. Rape Play, similar to Grand Theft Auto, is a game known for the transgressive behaviour central to the storyline. 
Released in 2006, Rape Play is a Japanese video game in which the storyline involves a player to rape three girls. Rape Play drew in huge criticism for the highly sexualized, misogynistic storyline which glorifies sexual violence. Unsurprisingly, after huge pressure in 2009, the game was banned by Amazon as well as in Australia and Japan. Rape Play was not available to buy in Britain, Europe and America. According to Mark Seltzer, we have developed a wound culture where we have become desensitised to harming, wounding and killing. This wound culture has desensitised us because of the constant coverage in the media. Harming, wounding and killing seems normal to us now. With newer, more powerful video games consoles being able to deliver high quality, almost lifelike graphics, blood and violence in today's video games like Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto, players just see this as fun and part of the game. Psychologist Albert Vandura conducted an experiment studying children's behaviour after watching an adult acting aggressively towards a Bobo doll. Although it was controversial, Vandura concluded that children exposed to the aggressive model were more likely to act in a physically aggressive way than those who weren't. Vandura's study could be used to explain the negative views on violent or transgressive video games like Grand Theft Auto. Controversy surrounding transgressive video games is a fear that what players see and do whilst playing may lead them to act this out in real life, especially the younger or more impressionable players. There have been cases where it has been reported that players have acted out in real life based on what they have seen on a video game. One reported incident in Britain was the murder of Stefan Pakira in February 2004. Stefan, aged 14, was murdered by his friend 17-year-old Warren LeBlanc with a hammer in a method of execution identical to the video game Manhunt, a game which LeBlanc's parents revealed that Warren and Stefan were obsessed with. Although there have been cases linking transgressive video games to transgressive behaviour, these links are circumstantial. In a study conducted by Kuttner and Olsen, they asked a research group of both teenage boys and girls why they play violent video games. The top three responses were because it's just fun, because it's exciting, and because it's something to do when bored. Gamers use video games as an escape from reality. By playing video games, players can engage in scenarios that otherwise would not be possible. There may be people who have acted out in game transgressions into real life, but there are millions of gamers who play games like Grand Theft Auto and Call of Duty who have not.